Welcome parents, we're going to go through a quick review of the website ask.fm. A lot of you guys have sent me emails requesting a review of this site based upon your kids spending a lot of time on this site and some of you guys are worried. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go through uh, a couple of the features of the site. Uh, one of the things you do need to know, this is a very popular site, it's a, an international site that actually has more users internationally than in the U.S., but kids here are starting to pick up. Overall, it has 16 million users, uh, 80 million unique users a month, and 20 million questions a day. And that's what Ask.fm is. It's a question and answer site. So basically, um, kids can post questions, other kids answer it. And that's it in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and get through it. Logging into Ask.fm is very simple. You either can do it through your Facebook account or through your Twitter account. Um, as soon as you log in through Facebook or Twitter, the um, website will prompt you to invite your friends, which is their way of tapping into the viral um, social graph of um, the social media sites that are popular here in the U.S. Once you log in, you have a social media profile uh, page that's very similar to other social media sites. You can add your photo to the left. Uh, it has some social validation features like number of likes, uh, number of questions to kind of, you know, build your reputation on the site. The biggest thing you need to look for is this middle section, the Ask Me section. This is what Ask.fm is all about. Uh, it gives the user the ability to ask questions uh, anonymously, and also um, you can add, you can use your username to ask questions as well. But most people are right here. Um, this is how they use the site. So basically, if I want to reach out to Linda, I can type in whatever question I want to ask. If I hit Ask Anonymously, then it's done. There's a search function with uh, Ask.fm where basically you can type in uh, different uh, keywords and you can bring up different streams. Um, you also can search for your friends. Uh, in testing out this website, once again, one of the issues I did find is that there, that there is a lot of uh, bullying that's taking place. Um, a lot of sexual comments, a lot of um, guys asking girls to do sexual favors, um, vice versa. Uh, and like I said, once again, the reason this is able um, to take place is because there's no privacy settings. I repeat that no privacy settings for Ask.fm. So remember parents, everything that your child puts on this particular website uh, will be there forever. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave us a comment. We'll get back in contact with you. You can always reach us at www.spyparent.net.